In this video, I'll show you how to add lifelike shadows and shade to any drawing using either the manual method or what I like to call the painting by selection method. There are real advantages to both, so let's take a closer look. In this first example of the manual method, I'm going to use my favorite flat brush and I'm going to set the color to black and I'm going to name a new layer and call it shadows. So basically I set the brush at the right size and keeping a uniform loose pressure, I just start to brush in the shape of the shadow. Obviously, this isn't a perfect layer of shadow. I just want to get a quick impression of how this new tone changes the drawing. So here I'm switching to the flat brush in the eraser mode, and I'm just going to clean up this shadow line coming from that window header. Now I can also do the same with a shadow coming from a tree outside. And this is a little different. It's just going to be an organic shape. Uh, take some practice to get, get this to look like a real tree shadow. I'm not doing my best here. just want to show the example. So again, if I slide that slider, you can see that um, that shadow can be used at whatever intensity you prefer. Now in painting by the selection method, I'm going to create the same shadow using a combination of the selection tool in freehand mode and the fill layer command. To begin, I just trace the outline of the previous manual shadow but use the selection tool to do so. Here I'm creating a little bit of deviation in the shadow path. So it looks like that painting has some depth, or some thickness out from the wall. But that line still has to be straight. And of course I would take much more time with this if this were a real world job. And the same applies for the uh, edge of the shadow that's going to come across the floor and across this carpet. That shadow will in fact also vanish off to the same vanishing point or a new vanishing point in the back. I finish up the area of the shadow closing off the marching ants and I'm going to make sure I have the color black selected and then I'm going to use the layer menu to actually fill that shape. Coming back down to the opacity slider to get just the right amount of opacity. Now I'm going to speed it up a bit to show you another way to create this shadow with the selection method. And of course, the first steps remain the same, selecting the area. But now I'm going to switch to the airbrush or the soft brush. And I'm going to brush in the shadow, giving different areas of the shadow as much contrast as I want. And then the same can be done with the eraser, where you're actually erasing out the shadow to feature lighter areas of the building or to reduce the amount of contrast. We can do the same with that shadow for the tree outside the windows. I 
start by creating an organic shape with the selection tool. Close it off. Fill the area with black. And then adjust the opacity to adjust the intensity of the shadow. And I will now use the eraser to put back in those areas that we took out before where the sun comes through the foliage of the tree. So there you have it. Two ways to create quick overall shadow and shade effects for some of your drawings. And if you are still listening to this, that means you are one of my most dedicated viewers. So please be sure to leave your questions and comments in the area below and uh, try to answer every single one of you. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.